The big day's arrived and your equipment has uh, been delivered. And I suggest, don't make the mistake I made and pull it all out and start putting things together and dry fit it all. And then realize you don't know what's where because that makes your next task all the more difficult. The folk at B Equipment package everything up very nicely and they're in component bundles along with nails and whatever else you need. And what I suggest you do is to take the time and keep everything as far as you can in the component bundles because if you do that then you'll find that everything in a bundle is what you need to put each part of the bee frame together or the bee hive and I suggest you start with one of the smaller supers and only get that bundle out and only get the screws out for that or the nails that's that doesn't come with screws and that way you will be able to assemble all the components because they're all together and just do it step by step and it's uh, far more logical that way. In effect, I'm going to replicate what I did with the first frame. The brood box is uh, at the rear there, and these are the, what they call supers? Anyway, the bits that go on top. And uh, I guess I don't need them all just yet, but I started with the small ones because I thought they'd be easier to handle. Um, I started with a nail in this one and then three screws on this side and uh, put screws all on the other side. I just wanted to, to hold it in place initially, hence the fact that I had a strange arrangement here, but I, I think going forward I'll, I'll put um, six screws on, on each face and uh, I'll have the, uh, the frame like that. So quite simply just uh, mark the midline, drill a pilot hole, and uh, yeah, just hope it all sticks together. I've been a bit obsessed about the the fit. Uh, you might be able to see here um, how how even these two are. One, one is the inner, and one is the um, cross support that goes over here. And uh, maybe you can see it slightly better over here. And uh, I've thought, well, it's important that everything's aligned, everything's smooth and flush. But in actual fact, uh, as long as it's more or less there, you have this rail. And the rail is ever so slightly raised um, above the height of the wood. And so what that means is, uh, even if these two pieces of wood, here you can tell they're, they're uh, difficult to see, but uh, you can hear that there's a... There's a less than one mil gap, but there is a tiny little gap there, little little gap here. Um, it doesn't matter because when you put in the inserts, of course, they just sit on the top. And so they're going to slide around fine and actually clear of uh, this area here underneath. Uh, so you've got to support so it's somewhat academic so i think the moral of the the story is don't be overly uh bothered about the the fit if it's a, a kind of halfway decent fit then you'll be fine i was at pains to mark up on my first box uh the top left corner and the bottom right and this and that and um 
as I said, it was very disorientating. But uh, on the second box, I sort of got the idea and uh, just a bit more confident, really, I suppose. And as you see, that, uh, that fits nicely in there. And this is my second box, which took about half the time. So I, I think just take it slow and take your uh, time with the first box. And then your second box will uh, hopefully um, be a lot easier and uh, you'll get into the, the swing of things. And uh, I'm just seeing what the, the fit is like here because it's the first time I put these together. And uh, it's okay, it's not bad, but uh, the, uh, the frames for the bees will, will sit them both fine. And uh, yeah, I think that will be good. So uh, I've done two this afternoon and uh, I'll, uh, I'll do the brood box tomorrow. And as if to uh, prove the point, I spent a lot of time measuring um, per the old adage, you know, measure twice, cut once. I'm not cutting anything, but I've been measuring and I've been trying to square things up and manage to find a rubber mallet and uh, get it all right. But uh, I sort of did my best with uh, the first um, box. And with the second one, I just, uh, I just put it together as best I can. And it's 65 centimeters on this cross. And over here, it's 65 centimeters. In fact, it couldn't be much more square. And that's got nothing to do with my skill. It's really everything to do with the kit. So again, don't worry too much. Uh, I think just uh, uh, assemble it. It's a great kit uh, from Bee Equipment. I'm really very pleased because I'm, I'm rubbish at DIY and uh, <laughs> they make uh, things quite, uh, quite easy and they're not even paying me. So uh, it's just really something for everyone else's benefit. I, I found that uh, there was very little information uh, on the uh, internet or on YouTube about how to assemble this kit. So uh, hopefully this helps you a little bit and uh, gives you a bit of confidence.